Oh, you know, I almost threw up today. Look at this festival of blood. Welcome to the festival of blood. You know, I feel like throwing up every day, not because of the news, because it's always the same news since I was born. Okay, ready? Um, ugh. That's the first time they make it. Anybody on the set can make an arbitrary decision to cut me at any time, and they do it. You understand that? Like Anybody just go cut, and I'm off the air. Shut uh, up. I can't imagine why. Me neither. Why don't you go get another uh, spray on tan, stupid? <laughs> All right, the reality, speaking of, uh, <laughs> the reality Cancun, uh, the first reality movie opens Friday in theaters near you, created by the producer of The Real World. Let's take a look at this clip. All right, we're going to start this wet t-shirt competition, so we're going to need some hot ladies up here. That girl's like 14 years old. Now, what do you guys think of this, okay? Well, I, I, for one, am excited about this movie because it's a lot easier to be the creepy old guy in the back of a theater than the creepy old guy at spring break. So, I, uh, and we know what both of us feel like. Yes, we do, Colin. I really don't... I don't need to see the real Cancun. I'd like yeah. to see the real Hong Kong. Which <laughs> is <laughs> about a bunch of Chinese people making scatological pornography and coughing into each other's faces. Say it. Well, say it so I can get 20 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Say it. He's nope. not going to say, say it. Say the word. Say what? Exercise. I, we, no, yeah. SARS, stupid. Please. Say it. We had a bet. We had a right. bet that uh, SARS would be the first joke out of your mouth. No. <laughs> it's going to kill in the theaters. I mean, all these, you know, you got a bunch of kids that go, ooh, you know, we went on spring break. As long as my daughters aren't in it, I don't care. You know? <laughs> they are in it, stupid. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't it do well? Uh, every type of reality programming yeah. has worked. I mean, everything, every, they're on real world like 19 now, yeah. right? So why wouldn't that movie work? <clears throat> and it's also a question of the reason these movies are out is because now they're finally realizing everything on TV and movies, most of it stinks. It's written by dummies. And that, you know, even though reality TV may stink, it doesn't stink as bad as regular TV always does. Yes, it does. Well, everything, no, it does. No, it's it worse. Does. You know what's sad? That you actually... I know why you're defending real t regular TV, because you probably, your dumb manager probably told you, yeah. hey, you know, Jim, they're really noticing you on the show. Yeah. <laughs> and you I actually play? think they're going to fly you out for some dumb yeah. meeting, and yeah. you know what? You're never going to be the lead on a yeah. show. They're oh. not going to be able to sitcom around that. What's going to happen is... What's, yes, they will. What's, what's, they will. They will, Colin. Come on, stop it. Stop it. They'll call it living inside a tequila bottle. Yeah. <laughs> that won't be encouraging, though, because it's like, even if, no matter how bad you do in this business, you can always get a job hosting a show on Comedy Central. <laughs> The reason people want to watch reality programming is because uh, people are like me. I would much rather watch real people cry and have crises than people pretend to reenact some writer's idea of what a crisis is. You know, let's <laughs> real but people go. But they're not no, showing real situations. They're showing uh, contrived situations. Joe Millionaire, that wasn't a real situation. It was, it was built so everybody could feel okay when they walked away. They're not showing reality. Yeah, but people well, got you know, upset and they cried and they had, you know, that's what I want to see. I want to see people break down and lives get ruined. Now, wait a minute. What about reality? Now, amateur porn is reality, so people love amateur porn, yes? Yeah. Why do you love amateur, amateur porn? Do you like it better than regular porn? It makes you feel well, like you, uh, you could possibly... Uh, what? It <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it makes you feel like you could possibly. Oh. Some, oh, come on. <laughs> it makes you feel like you could possibly be there. Right, yeah, you know. And, and do it. Yeah. And yeah. you know what else? These are, <clears throat> these, we should support amateur <laughs> porn filmmakers. These are per people that are working outside of the studio system. And I think. Uh, <laughs> First of all, no agent. whoever made these cards does not know you guys, because one of the questions. Do you ever go online to look at porno? <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get offline oh. when you're looking at porn? No. But now you guys just we want to talk about the vacation because you guys had a vacation yeah. getaway, a nice family vacation. It was, it was a little reality TV, a little ugly American, a little Graham Greene type, you know. It was great. Comedy. It was Brazil. It was. It was, oh. it was. It was. These guys went to Brazil. They just got back. Awful has that tan year round. It doesn't matter if he's, you know. Let me tell you something. Doing That's a one nighter in Teenack, he always oh, yeah. has that tan. And, uh, something wrong with his liver. You could see Jim, yes. 
Jim can't, he's not allowed out in the sun. You know, he's, got a, he's got a combination of the powder disease and a couple of other things. Like the boy in the plastic bubble You got a picture? Yeah. You got a picture, Mona? We got some pictures of them uh, on their vacation. Yeah. Uh, it's the kind of uh, artwork they were doing down there. You know. uh, oh, look at yeah. that. Yeah. Yes, the guys, you see beautiful uh, women there. And, uh, oh, there's. <laughs> What do you think? That is, uh, that, that, that's a manic. I know, yeah, you're that's, to, uh, no, you're trying to, uh, no, he was visiting some that's, that's, that's a Yao Ming, uh, poster. <laughs> think, let me tell you something. If you think Meryl Streep is a good Does actor, think, yeah. watch a whore or prostitute pretending he's good looking. Okay? <laughs> Pretending he's in shape. I, I can't. I'm trying to put myself into the mind of a whore in Brazil and seeing you three guys walk in the door, and I don't know who I would go for. But I, come on, I, that goes without saying. Look at that little mush right there. He, we were it's sitting. True. We were sitting. You were actually the good-looking one. And and listen, shut up, stupid. At least he's a packing you. Oh, you. At least, at least he's uh, packing you. Oh, you. <laughs> Wait, stop listen. buying Viagra over the counter there. <laughs> We were sitting, we're eating, right? We're eating. And I look at him and I go, be careful about the seafood. You might, sit, might get sick, right? And then I realize he's going on hookers in Brazil. And, and, and I'm warning him about fish. Oh. How the people? Did you, did no, you guys, right. on that note, I would like to say we'll be right back. And I hope you appreciate the openness that these guys trusted you with just now. <laughs> we'll be right back. Wants to say something. I'd like to say that that picture was a touch-up by Comedy Central. It was done earlier, and she was a model, and it was all staged. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was a touch-up because they didn't make you look ashy. <laughs> <laughs> Boys no, going after your own culture. Uh, uh, finally well, going to laugh from your people. Well, now what? Go ahead, boys. When we were in Brazil, after I was done with a beautiful prostitute who was a 10, um, a 10, okay? A 10 in American I'm or a, Brazilian? A, a, calm down. <laughs> All right, a headliner's talking now. Listen to me. <laughs> All right? Now, I'm, I'm done with this beautiful hook. I'm laying in bed watching TV, this is true, and, and, and everything's dubbed in Portuguese, and Crocodile Dundee 2 is on. And his dumb little stupid part comes on. Not only do you stink in English, you stink in Portuguese, too. Okay? They hate you in more than one country. I'm telling you, it's horrible. Uh, 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 you sold that a lot better than it really was. But yeah, I'm telling you, hey, please. I'm going to act that one a little Shut bit. Shut up, I'm a big act. <laughs> I can't only I'm doing this with you. Zero. Only on his show he brags. Yeah. He brags like as if you know, was some movie star. I'm with a prostitute. <laughs> You say, you say, like, like you really scored. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! What type of right, look, you know what we're going to talk about? Uh, Many wonder if, you know, they armed the pilots. Was there an armed pilot on you guys' this flight? They don't announce we, um, that. We don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't I think they should have those drunks. They should What's that? <laughs> they're drunks and they're ex-Vietnam vets, man. One little yeah. dude slip and hit his head on the door and he's turning around. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, let me tell you, man, L.A. Airlines, they don't have hijackers because they check every car a, a mile away from the airport. So, it, it, see, America is confused with uh, freedom, uh, losing freedom as losing yeah. convenience. We want to, we don't want to lose convenience. We don't mind losing freedom. We just don't want to get to the, we want to get to the airport on time. But they should just check every car a mile away from the airport. If you've got a 12 noon flight, get there at well, that, 2 a.m. That's what's good about pilots with guns. I mean, that is the last line. If a pilot has a gun, that, that's it. I want them no, worried you know about flying. I want them worried about shooting somebody, too, the, the power to think that they can shoot. When do they get yeah. to shoot? Well, when that's they why think you, it's yeah. a hijacking? Well, well, first of all, I, was, I, just, I agree with you, actually. Um, I think that they should absolutely arm all white pilots. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> well, here, no. That's, That's redundant. Right. What? <laughs> Why even say white? Um, what? The Chinese ones? Yeah. We're so uptight. There should be racial profiling at the airports. Whenever it's a terrorist attack in this world, you know who you think of what first. What show are you on? You don't yeah. go, oh, those Scottish are at it again. At the what? airport, what you know. Was he on? That was what? from the NBC calling question. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. I didn't do that show. Don't 
Now you're trying to say joke. You're using no. the joke you wrote in December. You wrote that in December. Well, you really smashed. annoyed me the fact that he was saying that racial profiling should be. And who do you think? You don't think you're going to be stopped? You little dirty looking Arab? You're going to be stopped. <laughs> It's true. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, little militia boy. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't bad. It wasn't stolen. It, it wasn't, wasn't funny. It wasn't bad. It was funny. You started to laugh. I All right. believe it. It's oh, stupid. Oh, really oh, oh. And the other thing I hated, I have to be honest, everyone's disgusted me so far, including myself on this show, but was when Patrice goes, LL Airlines, like he's Mr. Sophisticated World Traveler. Well, I read Instead of saying, shh. <laughs> Instead of saying an Israeli airline, which I've never been on, my, my agent told me that it's uh, a. <laughs> look. Shut up and when let the, the crowd laugh at my that, joke yeah, before you drop the there. boss. All right, <laughs> uh, look. As he can. <laughs> yeah. That's the end of the. They the shouldn't the give. Look at this. No look at this idiot. Yeah. They should not give. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a gun. Oh, uh, you just hate him because he looks like every guy at social services that they call from the back and go, should we let him? No. <laughs> When we come back, Nick DiPaolo, Patrice, and I will respond to the message board. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> so good.